We are here in Las Vegas. Today we're going to a thrift store and antique mall. We're going to make our way out of the strip. First, let's go get some coffee at one of my favorite coffee shops. My first stop was Opportunity Village Thrift Store. The store was pretty big with a lot of variety. There was a lot of furniture and I really liked this round cement table at $39.99. I thought it was funny how all of the glassware was upside down. This is actually really helpful to be able to scan the bottom of stemware pretty quickly and identify any markings. I thought this champagne glass set was very pretty and these beer glasses too. This store had some similarities to a Habitat for Humanity. I thought they had a good selection of light fixtures. This one here was one of my favorites. They even had some can lights. I wondered if some of these fixtures and some props that I saw were donations from the Las Vegas Strip hotels. I saw quite a bit of items that looked new as well, like this teacup and saucer set. I thought this set of home edit storage bins was a great find at $9.99 for four storage bins. If you've seen my past videos, you know that I found a brass hook like this one in the past before. This little mini beauty fridge was a good deal at $12.99 when it retails for $39.99. I took a quick look at some of the clothes and there was a big selection of shoes. There were a lot of totes and not as many handbags. I thought this vintage handbag was very cute. It seemed like it was full leather. This red woven ceramic basket also seemed like a great deal at $2.99. My next stop was the Charleston Antique Mall, which was so fun. This mall had so many booths with so many treasures. I think antique malls are such a great place to look if there's something specific you're looking for. There was a huge selection of vintage mid-century modern items. There were some antiques sprinkled in as well. There was so much eye candy in here. I was so tempted by this set of mugs. There were so many booths to get lost in at this mall. I was here for at least a couple of hours. I was also so tempted by these other mugs. It was $39.99 for the set of six. This Libby set looked like it just came out of the factory. And this fun orange color is so good. There were a lot of vintage tumblers, a lot of vintage Pyrex. I was keeping an eye out for one that I need. I even saw some vintage Chromex, some depression glass. It was so nostalgic to see this Hello Kitty thermos that I am pretty sure I had when I was a kid. I saw some beautiful Waterford as well. Just look at all of this eye candy. Later on, I talk more about how this antique mall works in case you're planning a visit. I'm just getting back. It is 4 p.m. I picked up a couple of things, which I'll share with you all in the morning after I go have some dinner. Good morning. I'm excited to share what I found with you all. I also wanted to share some takeaways on this experience in case it's helpful to you if you're visiting Las Vegas. Let me start with what I found. At my first stop, Opportunity Village Thrift, I picked up this stoneware piece. I picked this up for $3.99. It's by the brand The Pampered Chef. I picked this up as a decorative piece for a project that I'm working on. When I did some research on this, it said it was something for tortillas. I was really confused when I read that. I think this is to make a crunchy tortilla shell. I had a laugh to myself when I realized that that's what this is for. But I'm using it as a decorative piece because look at how pretty this texture is. I wanted to take these plastic organizers that were made by the Home Edit. If you haven't checked out, they have a really fun show on Netflix. It was such a good price and they looked brand new. It was $10 for four organizers in a good size. If I could have taken those with me, I totally would have. So I think that Opportunity Village is worthwhile to check out for lighting fixtures and lamps. They had a bigger selection of furniture as well that was more on the contemporary 
Missouri side. If you're visiting from out of town, I think it's helpful to know that there's a Dollar Tree so you can stock up on any items that you might need during your stay. Prices there are better than the CVS or Walgreens on the Strip. Might not be necessarily worth taking an Uber trip in and out of the Strip to get those things, but again, if you're coming with a car, it could totally be worth it. I had identified two thrift stores that were relatively close to each other to reduce the cost of Ubers. My original plan was to go to Opportunity Village Thrift Store and to go to Assistance League of Las Vegas Thrift Shop. While I was at the Opportunity Village Thrift Shop, I ended up doing a quick search and saw that there was an antique mall not too far away. Instead of going to the second thrift store I had planned to go to, I ended up choosing to go to the antique mall instead. Overall, I thought that there was a range of prices. If you missed my last video, I found a vintage Pyrex set. It was missing the outer bigger bowl. So while I was at this antique mall, I kept an eye out for that outer bowl. They had a few different options of the vintage Pyrex bowls that they were selling as one-offs and as sets, but not the one that I needed. I'm a big fan of a lot of these warm, rich colors, so I was really tempted by these other Pyrex bowls. I did pick up a couple of smaller pieces from the antique mall. The first thing I picked up are some sunglasses. These are not vintage, but they were there. These are by the brand Izzy Pizzy. They match my top today. So these were marked at $29.50. I ended up taking them. From my research, I see that these retail for about $60 before tax. Not the biggest deal that I've ever found, but I thought it was a fair price. These look just about brand new. I'll give you all the details of how this antique mall worked because I thought it was really cool. It seems like there's some staff for the entire mall, and then there are the individual owners for each booth. All the booths have a number. When you find something that you like, the staff will take it to the cash register for you. Then they'll give you a little clothes pin that has a number on it. They'll have all the items that you have decided that you're going to buy with your number that matches the clothes pin. All of the booth owners were not there. Some of them were, most of them were not. I ended up meeting one of them and he was the sweetest person and I ended up buying this book. If you've been here before, you know that arranging flowers is something that I really enjoy when I have that chance. So I thought that this was a fun find. Those were the only things that I bought. If you end up checking out the antique mall, some things to keep in mind are that they don't allow you to bring in larger bags. They have some lockers in the front where you can lock things up and take your key. So while you shop, you don't even have to carry your things, which I actually thought was a really nice experience. When you head out, you just grab your things and leave the lock and key where you found it. Something I didn't realize until I was leaving was that there was another antique store walking distance. Know that there's another antique store that you could walk to. It's just around the corner. Something that I've always done is also check Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace when I'm visiting a different area. These three pods were listed for free. If I was able to take these with me on a flight, I would have scooped these up. What a steal to get them for free. If you enjoy visiting the outlets, know that there's one about 10 minutes away from the Strip. Daniel and I are big coffee drinkers. When we first started coming to Las Vegas, we noticed that they only had Starbucks and is it the coffee bean? We have a dandelion chocolate in San Francisco. We were so excited when we saw one here in Las Vegas in the Venetian because they make great coffee as well. At the time of making this video, a tall cappuccino from Starbucks cost $7.10. You could get a cappuccino at Dandelion Chocolate for $5.96. They also have marshmallows, so you could add a marshmallow to your drink if that's something that you like. Another great option for coffee if you're near the win and if you have a Capital One card, they have a Capital One cafe in this mall and you're able to get 50% off all drinks at this cafe. So that is also another great value and where you're going to get a much nicer espresso drink, in my opinion. That's just something else to keep in mind if you are a big coffee drinker like us. We are off to go enjoy Las Vegas for a couple of days. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you all at the next one.